Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today at simulan na natin ang ating real estate buzz with Mia McLeod from McLeod & Associates. This real estate buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full-service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell, it's about the difference we make in people's lives. joins us once again in our studios in Los Angeles, California. At pag nandito si Mia, palagi tayong meron natututunan sa kanya, lalo na pagdating sa real estate. So thank you, Mia, for spending your afternoon with us once again. It's always a treat. And so I should say magandang hapon po sa mga viewers natin. Ayan. Yes. Uy, kinikilig ako pag nagtatagalog ka. Kilig. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, simulan na natin. What can sellers control? That is what Mia is sharing on our show this afternoon. Afternoon. So, uh, when people buy their homes and they're looking to sell, ano yung mga um, makokontrol nila or what are the things that uh, they can actually have a say over? Yes. Okay. So, especially right now, again, I mentioned going into the summer months, this is a seller's market, prime time for a lot of our sellers to get their houses listed. Um, and so, what can they control? One, pricing right from the very beginning. Pricing is so key because statistically, if you price over, you tend to get less at the end of the day. So sitting down with a realtor can really help you there. They can give you kind of what has closed per square foot in the last three months. They can also give you the stats of what's currently active, what you're going to be up against on the market besides your property. Um, and then they can give you a recommended price. Um, but pricing from the from from the beginning properly is very important. Yes. All right, and then moving on, we also have uh, conditions. conditions. The condition of your home, the seller can control that. I mean, if you don't have a huge budget to make upgrades, that's fine. You can do um, things like just decluttering goes a long way. Steaming the carpet goes a long way. Uh, maybe planting some some plants in the in the front for that curb appeal mm -hmm. will go a long way. And and if you do have a budget for paint paint goes a really long way but you can control um, how your property is gonna look for the most part and getting it really cleaned out getting some steam carpet can again go along okay go a really long way all right so. and moving on to our third thing that sellers can control is marketing your home so when you sit down with your realtor and you're interviewing them they should be able to provide you with different marketing strategies that has been proven proven techniques that they can bring to the table to get you as the seller top dollar. And that's what we do, uh, right? As, as a real estate team, we try to be very creative and come up with really beneficial ways to get our seller top dollar. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. And moving on, we also have... Make your home accessible for showings. I know it sounds funny, but I put it on there because a lot of times people will want to sell, but then they say, okay, I can only show it on Saturday from 10 to 11. Only on Saturday. One hour. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're really limiting yourself. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, when you get ready to make the decision to sell, you really got to be as accommodating as you can to these appointments. You know, you can definitely be strategic if your schedule is really tight where maybe Monday through Friday, 4 to 6. Maybe block it at night. But you do have to be as accommodating as possible. Okay. Yes. And then uh, closing out the last thing that Mia recommends. First, um, overcome challenges by good communication. And I think this can work in any industry, not just for sellers or our buyers, but for any industry outside of the real estate. But um, good communication is really key, especially in our business. We're dealing with so many entities on one sale and so many people have their hand in the bucket and you got to make sure they're all doing their job. So sometimes we've had um, deals where it should have been a slam dunk, but the communication between all the parties is what's causing it to fail versus a tougher file that maybe the buyer didn't have a lot of money or the credit score is not great, but the communication of everyone is key and that ends up being more successful. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. So. And then let's move on. Yeah. Also, we're talking about five buying secrets. Yes. The buying secrets, five buying secrets. What can we share? One, don't try to time the market. Um, a lot of people come to us and say, when is the best time to buy? 
But the truth is, it really is a family decision, and if they can afford it, if they get pre-approved for the loan and they feel comfortable with it, then that should be the right time for them to buy. If they try to time it, I mean, history shows real estate goes up, down, sideways, and everything, right, yeah. over the last few decades. So don't try to time it. Just see if it makes sense for you and your family, if it makes sense budget-wise, if you could get approved for the loan you'd like, then I recommend moving forward. Um, bigger isn't always better. People think that they, they want to buy the biggest um, house on the block. But a lot of times you have to remember when the houses sell next to you, the smaller ones, those are your comparables. So it may not do you justice equity wise down the line when you want to sell if your house is the biggest house on the block. Yes, and also the bigger the house, uh, the more time you'll spend cleaning it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I will say to our first time home buyers, the, the, the one thing that they always try to do is buy the dream house first first yes uh, but you have to work your yeah, way up work your right way up. yeah that's why we like to say start with your starter home mm -hmm. and all of our buyers that started you know modest in the beginning are now buying their their bigger home and selling the house maybe they're on to their first or second kid and that's the way to do it because they can take now the money from there and put it as a down payment for the bigger home okay and then so, um, the third one you said um, uh, avoid wait, sleeper, sleeper cost what yes. does that mean okay so there's a lot of other costs that home uh, buyers may not see. So it's not only the mortgage payment, right? You have property taxes, there could be HOA, you have to factor in utilities. Um, so basically, when it comes to sleeper costs, it's more just making sure you budget for everything, mm. not only the mortgage payment, because then you can feel tight by the time all the costs come in. McLeod.SmartHomePrice.com will give you a quick assessment on the value of your home if you're curious as a ho homeowner today and if you have equity in there, thinking of selling or even refinancing. Um, but yes, Eastville Community Workshop this Saturday. Please come join us June 25th from 10 to 1. Uh, we are just going to educate and empower our community on all things real estate and mortgage related. Wonderful. And as usual, uh, they do welcome referrals. Make sure to get in touch with them. Libre po ang mag-consult sa McLeod and Associates. Uh, Mia, once again, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me again. All yes. right. Thank you so much. And uh, for always supporting our program, Kababayan Today, magkita-kita po tayo dito bukas. Ako po si G. Tonji. Salamat po.